Okay, g'day guys, welcome back to another review with the knee pads, wrist guards, elbow pads of different brands. So we'll start with wrist guards. 187 Derby pads. So if it's just if you're just after a basic pad as a beginner, this is an okay pad. So 187 Derby wrist guards are pretty standard. The only thing I don't like about them is these two. The plastic is held on by two small rivets. Uh, I worry that if you hit that hard enough, that rivet may go through. You might, they may puncture your hand, worst case. Hasn't happened to me though. Looking at the conventional type of wrist guards that you see everywhere. Okay, so I've got two different types here. I've got, sorry, two different brands. They look almost identical. This is basically a copy of the old rollerblade design back in the 90s, the 187 pad. Um, having fallen on it once already, what I've seen immediately start to happen is the stitching coming off here. Uh, I didn't fall very hard, but I'm already shaving off a fair bit of the plastic up there. The material is basically a little nylon strap there. Uh, it doesn't take much to cut through that and it's already starting to fray a little bit. Uh, they're both fake leather, but I think this is just a little more fake, as in it's very synthetic, very plasticky, and sure enough, after one fall, it's already starting to have pretty significant signs of wear there. What I like about the TSG pad here, though, is the leather actually looks like leather, feels like leather, and I think it would really be a little bit stronger. But also this pad, sorry, that goes around the, uh, the bottom. So obviously if you impact this way, you're gonna hit plastic, you're gonna hit this pad. On the 187, it's like a little nylon, uh, it's a very basic sort of strap. On this, it's basically, it's the same material as the rest of the guard. Mm -hmm. It should hold up a little bit better. Because it's a, you know it's it's a big paddy sort of material, with lots of stitching on there with a couple of um as a seam on both sides, so that should hold up better in a slide. Then you go to your uh, love style marathon speed skater style wrist guard. There's these easy fit ones. There's also power slide ones out there. I did buy power slide and ended up returning them because I just could not get the right size. They're comfortable, they're a Lycra uh, glove. They have sweatband on the thumb for wiping your brow, which is nice. The plastic pad, it's just Velcroed on at the base. It's a little bit bigger in size than the power slide one that I saw or tried. What I really like is these two hooks here and here. So, there and there, and removing. Yeah, it's just a good little feature, I like them. <coughs> the plastic guard is bigger than that of the power slide and seems to be positioned slightly lower, back towards the wrist, which is where I think it should be. Okay, elbow pads. All right, start with the power slide. Um, but they do feel like just a Kevlar sock, they feel like you're not wearing anything. They're very flexible. Uh, made for obviously speed skaters, marathons, that kind of stuff. Um, I have had one fall in it and already the Kevlar, sorry, the Lycra is ripping. The Kevlar did not rip, but the I still got a friction burn underneath the Kevlar on my skin where it fell. And the stitching is all coming loose at the top already. If you're indoor speed skating or something like that, I think these would be great, but otherwise I don't rate them at all for road use. They don't have any kind of silicon gasket on the uh, top and bottom to hold them in place. So as soon as you start sweating, these just slide down your arm. Next, we'll go with the Rollblade X-Gear. Okay, so as a three pack of beginner, uh, for, for beginners, for knee, elbow and wrist, these are really great. Um, they've got a X-shaped plastic pad, the best thing about these pads for me is this, the way the straps unclip. Then, once you're in place and you just want to get them on and off quickly, you just unclip the plastic from the plastic 
and there you go. There. Good. The only downside I think is the angle on it. It's a very extreme angle. So I think if you were to fall, you are going to roll, once you, the initial impact, you are going to roll from left to right. So if that's your knee and it wants to twist or roll in a fall, that could be a problem. Okay, next we've got TSG Ace. This is elbow guard. What I really liked about these was only the one strap. You can see that bend is already in place in the elbow, so this cups over your elbow really well. Um, this was before I discovered other types of brands. I wanted something that I didn't think was going to slide off because it was already pre-contoured to be elbow shaped. It, it cups on the elbow and it doesn't move at all. And the elastic is very stiff, very strong. Well, probably my second favourite here is the Atom Elite pad. Uh, this is a really great pad. It's, it, I'm, I pretty much guarantee it shouldn't fall off. Uh, not only does it have the great straps, but on the inside at the openings, it does have uh, silicon to stop it moving. Uh, and it's pre-contoured as well to really cut your elbow. And very small mesh holes all over it, so it breathes really, really well. It will protect against big impacts. Um, I suspect though if you go down hard enough, this material on the outside of the elbow guard may tear and then you're going to expose the guard to whatever is the hard part on the inside. So it's more of an indoor pad than an outdoor pad. The Anui pad. This is my last pad. I absolutely love it. Uh, what I really like about them is the they they're incredibly light. They they're just yeah very very light. The material is like is quite sturdy. You've got like a leather sort of strap on the out part, outside part there. If you notice carefully, there's actually three nodes there protecting your elbow from side impacts as well. So not just the frontal impact, but both sides have three. Three pads. The straps are very snug, very uh, very secure. I can't see that falling off. All right, next we're going on knee pads. So I've got the rollaway and X pad, just like I showed you before with the elbows. Same benefits. What we have here is the TSG Derby. Sorry, TSG Roller Derby knee gasket slash knee pad. Uh, it's a great pad, really, really comfortable. You don't really feel like you're wearing it. It doesn't weigh a lot. Uh, it has extra nodes up top as well. So you've got the main, main plate, then rubber, and then you've got an extra node at top. And you also have this extra sort of part on the plastic to wrap around to protect your knee a little bit more from the outside impact. Uh, this is a really good one because it cups around your knee and your knee sort of sits doesn't actually rest on it the downside is for, if for marathon type skating if that's what you're trying to do which is what I'm trying to do um, they, are, they do look very big and bulky they look like you've just come from roller derby uh, but um, the other side the other problem is after one or two falls just little things like the threads are starting to come loose I'm starting to go but yeah, not a lot I can do about that. The Atom uh, Elite Knee Gasket. It's a very, very solid full-on knee gasket for roller derby or ramp skating or whatever. As you can see, it is just covered in little protective nodes to protect your knee from side impacts and all the other random impacts that you might have when you go down as well as just obviously frontal it does flex pretty well but it's the range of movement is more limited than TSG pads um, it, yeah I really love how there's just all these extra nodes on it to protect from every possible impact from every possible angle okay my latest latest two they've only just sort of cut well the rollaway one has only just come out and the Anui I think has been out for a little while. So it's brand new from rollaway. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 
It's basically a gasket with one top strap, no bottom strap. Uh, it's a spongy pad with some sort of, I don't know, uh, synthetic or rubber block inside and then Kevlar wrapped on the outside. It looks really nice, it's very, it feels nice on your knee. It's uh, very, very, very light and very, very, very flexible. The only thing I don't like about this is the one top strap because that's the only thing holding it on your leg. It does have a silicon, just see that reflection there. So it does have a silicon line on the bottom. The bottom opening is almost as big as the top opening. So for me, um, when I put it on and do it up at the, at the top, that's the only thing holding it on. On the bottom, I can actually put my fingers in between the guard and the skin and you've got all this loose material there. It doesn't feel like it's gonna really hold on. Love this pad. It feels, even though it looks bigger, it was exactly the same weight as this rollerblade one. Um, funky sort of design with graphics on it. When it sits on your knee, it doesn't feel like it's on your knee at all. The only thing touching your skin is where the bottom strap goes around your leg and where the top strap goes around your leg. On the actual pad, sits off the knee. So it's really, really, really comfortable and really, really flexible. You've got a lot of range of motion there. Um, it has the glue on the inside, sorry, not glue, silicon on the inside, on bottom and top. And you've got two really powerful straps and it's a really contoured shape. So even though it looks probably a little too big for a marathon style thing, I mean, it's called a city gasket. It'll be really comfortable to wear in marathon top skating and extremely protective uh, for any, even just doing recreational or urban skating. If you've got comments or questions, just put it in the comments and I'll try and answer where I can. Um, thanks for watching.